So, <coughs> we do have the Knight of Wands in reverse as your overall energy here, okay? So, it does look like there is a lack of forward movement here, but at the same time, this can also talk about someone who's very reckless and who's moving towards you, okay? So, do expect someone who's coming towards you in full speed, okay? But there are chances that this person is going to come in at the speed that they're coming in. That's the same speed that they're going to leave, okay? Because that's a very in and out energy, very fickle energy. Someone you can't really uh, depend on, okay? Very unreliable, you know, and very insincere. But this is someone who just wants to talk to you now, like now, 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 something like that. Very uh, impulsive, all right? <clears throat> Four of Pentacles in reverse in the past, there could have been a releasing of some sort, okay? You could have let go of someone, okay? Or someone could have let go of you. Again, you know, the energies can be flipped, so switch them as they resonate, okay? So you could have let go of someone who you were holding on to very tight, okay? In the current situation, we do have the King of Wands in reverse here. And what's present, this is the Queen of Cups. So it looks like there is someone here who's um, still not decisive. This is a lack of action being taken by someone, okay? There is someone who's not still being able to take action here. That could also mean the same thing with the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse here, lack of action, okay? But the King of Wands in reverse is someone again, um, someone who's who doesn't follow through their game. Okay, that's what the problem is here. This is someone who doesn't, who just, you know, they don't, they, they just talk the talk, you know, they don't walk the walk. That's the problem here. Okay, They don't follow through. They're very dependent on you. They don't take action. They're very passive. They're not focused, etc. The biggest challenge is the Queen of Cups here. Looks like this is the cha this is challenge here, which means this could be where you need to trust your intuition about this person here. Okay. Could be dealing with someone who's non-committal also. You have the four of swords in reverse on your uh, on your mind or on your focus. It looks like either you are wanting to talk to someone. Again, I'm going to clarify which can change the message. Or this is just you who's being very restless and thinking about a situation over and over again. This is also you not being able to heal, you know. You're overdoing it. You're overanalyzing, overthinking a situation, okay. And this has to do with overthinking a past situation or about this person, okay. But it's driving you nuts. We do have the hangwoman in reverse here as what you don't see coming. So it looks like there is a situation where either you could be releasing yourself from a situation where someone's kept you on hold for a very long time. We'll see. Six of cups in the near future. So yeah, there is someone coming back from you from the past, all right? So let's check that out. Let's clarify it first. All right. Okay, it was... Tell me about the Knight of Wands in reverse, please. Why is this the overall energy for my Capricorns? Four of Wands in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. There could have been an ending of a long-term commitment, okay, with a player, okay? This could be a player or this was just someone who was very passionate about you, but they were very in and out, like I said, right? Someone who was very, uh, very flaky, this is someone who wasn't really someone who believed in commitment, okay? That's the overall energy here. Something And that has left a very bad taste in your mouth, okay? You could be holding a grudge against this person, but I feel I see you releasing this person here because for you, it's a missed opportunity. You're letting something go. But this could have been something very stable. It does not have to be a, a marriage or a commitment, but this was as good as a commitment, okay? There is a delay in a reunion also is what I'm getting, okay? Maybe you guys come very close to getting into that commitment, but because of this person's approach or this person's play of ways, right? You guys just don't get to that, uh, uh, that, that point of stability, okay? Or maybe this is just someone who's a commitment phobe, okay? And this is what you want with this person. You could have had the best of memories with this person, okay? With the six of cups in reverse here. But you're repeating the bad memories over and over again in your mind. And you could have been in the stagnant energy for a very long time, okay? And that's the kind of person that's coming in. This is who's coming in towards you. That's what I'm getting the overall energy. Someone who's very fickle. I'm getting fickle. I'm getting someone who one moment wants you, the next moment they don't. You know, it's like that. But be very careful, okay? Because this is someone you've let go. Okay, they could have been seeing you as the one who got away. But definitely someone who you had a breakup with, okay? <laughs> Why is the four of pentacles in reverse here in the past for Capricorn? Six of Cups in reverse, it talking about feels to me this is someone who's coming back from your past who you don't really want, okay? Not someone who you had a very good history with. 
Queen of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles. Lovers. Yeah, see, this is your person in the past year. You let go of a very strong soulmate connection. Could be dealing with a Gemini. I don't like to say science because it's all about the energies, but some people like it, so I will. Okay. Definitely, you were dealing with a twin flame connection, okay? That's why it's so difficult, right? I'm getting you were emotionally invested into this person, okay? But this person refused to <coughs> invest into this connection at the same time parity that you did there was this wanting of working into this partnership okay so there was good partnership in the past year okay you guys were absolutely in love here but you had to let go of this person here because probably you were very emotional okay or probably one person got very clingy and needy but you expected more is what i'm getting because this is the three of pentacles right this is working together building together yes let's do this okay so there was good partnership something was building you know on a strong foundation and this is in the upright the lovers okay so you guys were on the same page but then someone either chose to withdraw themselves emotionally or someone was just emotionally unavailable and you just had to let that person go because this person was someone who was very closed off probably okay they expected you to invest emotionally but this person could be someone who was feared of being very hurtful and that's why they didn't want to invest into you, you know, emotionally. But they expected you to do all the work. So it's like, see, with the pentacles here, what I'm getting is that when it comes to building onto something stable or when it comes to just working together, you know, uh, being on the same page, they were there. Okay, They were putting in the effort when it comes to messaging, texting, etc. But emotionally, they were shut off. And that's why you had to let this person go. <coughs> you could have been very hurt by this person, you know. You could be holding a lot of resentment in the past because this person could have hurt you back. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse here. What is the King of Wands in reverse? Yeah, baby. The communication is coming in from this King of Wands. They're going to come and talk to you, okay? They're going to come and talk to you. They're going to try a different approach from you, with you, okay, with the page of wands. But they're coming in as a page. That's why they're in the reverse right now. See, that's what the problem is. This person is not taking action, you know. They're not still leading the relationship here. They're coming in with that communication here, okay. But because they're coming in with that lame as communication as the page of wands here, okay. Yes, they want to probably do something different. But the page of wands is also taking action but trying a different approach, okay. Well, okay, they're trying things differently. Okay? So the communication is coming in. But what's happening here with the nine of wands here? You've done this thing with this person over and over again. For you, it's like when this person comes in, it's like, yeah, I've been there, done that. I've seen that before, you know. And you're so guarded. You're very exhausted with this person here, okay. Like I'm saying, you could have been going on in cycles with this person. And whatever's going to happen, right, it's going to cause a lot of conflict between you guys. Because this person's going to come in, okay, with the five of wands here. This communication that's going to come in is going to cause a lot of conflict. It's going to cause some fights between you guys, okay? I think it's going to piss you off is what I'm getting here. Because they're still not coming in with that right energy, okay? They're coming in as someone very, very uh, boorish, you know? Someone who's trying to take control of a situation because they can't do it the right way, you know? This is someone very arrogant. Very arrogant and very um, stubborn is what I'd say. That's the kind of energy that they're coming in towards you. And you're showing up as the queen of cups here. You're probably someone very emotional. And you're very guarded from this person. You know, you know, you know what I'm getting? You know how this person works their way through you. And that's going to cause a lot of conflict between you guys. Okay, so just be very careful when this person comes in. <coughs> so yeah, communication is coming in. Yes. But do you want that? Do you, I mean, I don't think you're going to entertain this kind of communication because I do feel like there's going to be a fight between you guys. I mean, I just feel you're not going to entertain this person because this person brings in a lot of drama in your life. All right. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Why is this the blockage here this week for Capricorn? Why is the Queen of Cups the blockage here this week for Capricorn? We have the Eight of Cups in reverse, the King of Swords and the King of Wands. You know what I'm getting? <coughs> They're coming in towards you 
you think they're coming towards you as a king of wands here, but your approach towards them is going to be very logical. You cannot walk. This is someone who cannot walk away from you. Okay. This is someone who's returning back. They're very emotionally invested into you. Okay. And they cannot walk away from you. But it's going to be up to you with the Queen of Cups here to trust your intuition, to trust your inner guidance. Okay. To trust your psychic guidance, trust your gut and see if you want to entertain this person or not. Because I do see the communication coming in, but in your blockages, I feel this is how you see them. Okay. You probably want someone who takes the lead role. You want someone who takes action towards you, okay? But with the King of Swords here, I think you're going to make a very logical approach, okay? Whatever communication is coming in, right? Probably this person is just coming in, you know, saying that they cannot move on from you and they want you back. And you'll have a lot of luck for this person with the Queen of Cups. You do. But I think the challenge is going to be for you to think very logically about the situation. Whether they can move on from you or not is a different thing. But what they have done to you in the past and if you still want to give this person a chance is what I'm getting. <laughs> why is the Four of Swords in reverse? Why is this on Capricorn's mind or why is this their focus? Why is the Four of Swords in reverse? Yep. <coughs> Wheel of Fortune, three Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups here. There is someone here, okay, on your mind who wants to come towards you and wanting to work on this connection. There is someone here who's wanting growth, okay, and they want forward moment with you with the Three of Cups here. They do want a reconciliation with you. Your problem is that you're not interested in this person because you're too focused on your career, your goals, your money, okay? So what's happening here is when this person comes here, this is what's going to create that restlessness in your mind, okay? Because this is definitely someone from the past year. The Wheel of Fortune, so things are going to move in your favor, okay? This is luck on your side, okay? And with Three of Cups here, there is a reunion coming in. But you're going to go restless and going to go nuts thinking of whether you want to still give this person a chance or no, okay? That's what's happening here. That's it. Yeah. <coughs> That's what I was picking up. You're not putting you're not putting in your energy towards this person. You're just staying away from this person. You feel this person's bad investment, okay? Because you just let this person go. The four of pentacles is the card of someone holding on to something so tight, okay? You could have been very stubborn and very possessive about this person, not letting them go. But there could have been something that happened in the past year which shut you off emotionally and you finally released this person, okay? You detached from this person is what I'm getting. Tell me about the hangman and hangwoman in reverse. Why is this here? Why is this here? This is what you don't see coming. What is the hangwoman in reverse? This is what you don't see coming, Capricorn. Why is the hangwoman in reverse? <coughs> King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Reverse, and Nine of Swords. Hmm. What you don't see coming is the King of Pentacles. Someone's coming in with a lot of stability. This is someone who wants to make something very, very solid here. But you're stressing about this so much is because you don't know if this can materialize into a commitment or materialize into something solid and stable, okay? I'm getting you wanted all this all this while, okay? And now that you're getting it, now you're not sure. So yeah, that's what it looks like with the hang woman in reverse. If someone's coming out of that stagnation mode and finally coming towards you that's what you don't see coming okay this person could have put things on hold for a very long time your relationship could have been on a pause for a very long time okay but now there's someone here who's coming out of that pause and trying to come and talk to you trying to offer you something stable okay this is someone with a very good energy someone financially stable they got that shit together okay but you're stressing about this with the nine of swords here because you don't know if this is going to reach that point of stability and security if you're going to get into that commitment because they're just coming in okay as wanting to offer you something solid they do have some solid to offer you but for you the point is here at uh, is that will this be able to reach that point you know because you're constantly in doubt with this person here okay probably because of this person's approach or probably because of the past history that you've had with this person here so yeah you're literally going to this person whatever this person's coming in right they're going to give you a lot of stress because i think you're constantly going to be in two minds what do i do that's why the queen of cups is your challenge here to trust your intuition you need to trust your intuition because you are having a hard time walking away from this person too, right? 
But when this person comes, person comes in, you're gonna have to deal with facts, logic, be very rational, like very practical with this person. You know, you're gonna have to ask them to be very logical with you. Emotions are not gonna work when this person comes towards you. <coughs> what is the six of cups in the near future? What is the six of cups in the near future? What is the six of cups in the near future? Yep, the cheater liar is getting back. Six of clubs clarified by the two of swords, the eight of pentacles, and the seven of swords in reverse. Hmm. So there is someone here who's been betrayed, who's betrayed you in the past, someone who's been deceiving you or someone who's been holding back. Now this holding back can be in two ways. Okay, the seven of swords cannot, does not always have to be someone who's cheated or uh, something like that. Okay. The seven of swords in reverse can also be someone who withholds a lot of information. Okay. Someone who's not the best at expressing their emotions also. Okay. So this is someone who didn't have... Um, who didn't have the courage to open up or to tell you what they truly felt about you, okay? Because with the Six of Cups, I don't get a nasty energy. This is definitely a soulmate coming back to you, okay? So yes, Capricorn, you do have a reconciliation coming in. Uh, this is definitely someone, okay, who you've, had, who you've let go because this was someone who you're holding a grudge with, okay? Because there was a lack of commitment here. So yeah, definitely this was a player in the past year. I'm getting neither one that was as the past energy here, okay? This is definitely someone coming in towards you. This person's guilty and they're coming back. This time they want to make a very straightforward, honest approach towards you. They want to turn a new leaf. They want to work on this connection, okay? Like very diligently. They want to put in all the effort here. But with two of swords here, I think you're going to be at a crossroads. You're refusing to make a decision, okay? Because you're not going to want to see this. The two of swords is an energy of two ways, okay? One, being indecisive, but also living in denial. You're not trying to see this connection for what this is. I think you're not trusting this person. Again and again, that's what I get. Only because of what this person you have, with this person, the history, you feel that this person is going to do the same shit, okay? It's like same shit, different day. You've seen all of this. So that's what I'm getting with the nine of wands here when the nine of wands came in. You've done this over and over and over again, okay? You're very close to reaching that uh, overwhelming stressful energy okay this relationship is becoming more of a stress to you rather than that emotional happiness here with the lovers here this is a twin flame connection and twin flame connections are really really difficult to understand and really difficult to get into a union with it looks like you've shut the door on this person's face you know because they could have truly really given you whatever happened in the past year okay it was very nasty you saw a lot of potential with this person i keep getting drawn to that you know but you're just letting it go you could have waited for this person for a very long time and because there was a lack of forward movement here, you let them go or because of their play ways. <coughs> Someone non-committal, definitely who you're dealing with. Regardless, this person's coming in. Okay, they are. They want to put in the work, okay? Very, very, very seriously. They want to put in the work here. This is someone who wants a reconciliation with you, but it's going to be up to you, Capricorn, if you, you need to make a decision. Because with the two of Sodia, it's literally like, I don't know what to do. You know, you just don't know what to do. Either you don't have enough information about making a decision, you're trusting and relying on your intuition or trusting and relying on your uh, past experiences with this person or you're just like, you know what, I don't even want to see what this person has to say, okay? I feel you're just going to keep this person on hold when this person comes back. I don't know if you're still going to make You need to make a decision, okay? You need to. So that's what I have for you, Cap. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.